Yo gamers, Vincente here. Today we'll be diving into the latest developer live stream for Relink. So get ready for my insights, exciting updates, and a sneak peek to the world of Relink. The giveaway details will be at the end of the video. The stream start off describing what Grand Blue is, but you don't need prior knowledge to enjoy Relink though. The developer livestream mentioned the game being having around 20 playable characters, and they discussed the inclusion of assist mode and full assist mode catering to gamers that make the easier time in the main story. The stream took us on a visual journey through a desert level called the Rune City Valiant, showcasing stunning environments and detailing challenges that await the players. You can see the gameplay mechanics as they play through Valiant, including sliding on slopes, jumping through green portals for a temporary movement buff, sniping from the top of a cliff, and being able to jump on pillars to hit enemies. As shown here, there's also dodging in mid-air, and there is a revive window when your health reaches zero, so now I can come and revive you and you can escape death. During this intense Griffin mini boss battle to unlock what seemed to be the desert level requirement of unlocking the area with four keys to, I guess, continue the story. And there's also min hidden chests, mini games, and or puzzles around the area as well. So this can tell us that there will be a promising, thrilling encounters for players to do. They touched a bit on the mastery system again, which is fueled by mastery skill point MSP. Players can choose the progression path with a promise that all the nodes will eventually be unlocked. So it's just a matter of when you want the node since the end result will be the same. They also have a quality of life where if you select the node, you can buy all the previous nodes that you don't have to get that node unlocked as well. And then you can just buy all at once. <laughs> There are quick glimpses into level caps as well, with characters reaching level 100, weapon extending to at least 150, and a significant of leveling sigils to enhance a specific ability going to at least level 10. The developer mentioned a specific sigil, the Tyranny, which lowers the user's HP in junction to increasing their attack. Weapons also have their own attributes that you can unlock. For example, it seems like one of the wands of IOs has a buff against dragons and another for attack up. The developers decided to show one of the high-end difficulty quest fights against Lucius Windworm, a wind dragon boss. I'll take a look at this later and dissect this fight in another video. And then they announced the live demo happening right now, but unfortunately it's only for PS4 and PS5. They also reiterated that there's no cross slate between please PC, aka Steam users, and PlayStation, but only between PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 you can still have crossplay. They mentioned about some in-game sets that you can get when you pre-order the special or deluxe edition of the game such as a weapon that comes with a weapon skin as well called the false sword of the apocalypse and some materials from starter item packs to help you breeze through the early game and there's also character color packs to change the skins of your characters developers tease upcoming content even though it's not a live service game they plan to release a bit of post-launch content including a new impossible difficulty raid boss Lucius in March, two new characters dropping in April that they went over in the previous live stream, and another mystery content update scheduled for May. Other special announcements were made such as release of the game soundtrack in Japan on March 13, but you can still listen to it from other music services if you're outside of Japan. And there's also a bonus premium avatar named ID for players that have the Relink save data. And this is for Grand Blue versus Rising. The stream concluded with talking about the upcoming live stream on January 21st and 28th, featuring special guests playing the game so fans can expect more exciting gameplay. And that wraps up our developer live stream recap for Relink. So if you're hyped as I am, smash the like button, subscribe for more updates, and share your thoughts in the comments. I do plan to host a giveaway for a Steam copy of this game when the game drops. I'll pull a winner when the game drops for Steam. And I will be hosting this giveaway on Twitch using the points that you can get from watching and following the stream for free. Uh, so come on by and I'll see you next time, right? Later days.